Today we're out for sushi and not just any sushi, bullet train sushi. We're out for sushi for lunch at Premium Kaio Sushi in Diver City Mall in Odaiba. It's a conveyor belt sushi restaurant. <laughs> they haven't got anything on the conveyor belt at the moment. It's all um, ordering your own. I think because it's lunchtime, it's not as busy as um, it would be in the evening. So normally you can pick off the belt or you can order on the touch screen and your sushi comes along by bullet train. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Now I don't know about where you live, but in the UK, sushi tends to be quite an upmarket, fancy type of food. So it's usually quite pricey. So I was surprised when I first went to Japan and found that it isn't necessarily that expensive. There are higher priced restaurants, but it can also be as little as 100 yen per plate, sometimes even less. So today we're trying cheap conveyor belt sushi to see if it's any good. And there's new Japan videos on my channel every Thursday if you want to subscribe. I do not drive a car if I drink liquor. I agree. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They've got different languages on the touch screen, so we can change it to English. There you go. So, yeah, you've got all your... Nigiri, rolls, side yep. dishes, noodles, drinks. There's actually quite a big selection, and it's a good place to try new things if you're not sure if you're going to like them. What's that one? That's extra large roasted sea eel. <laughs> it needs a few more rice balls. <laughs> you can order up to four things at once. I'm gonna go for a kapamaki cucumber roll. Once you've made your choices, you press the order confirmation button and wait for your sushi to arrive by bullet train. It's really easy if you don't speak Japanese. You don't actually have to talk to anyone. It's my sweet corn and you have to press the button to send the train back. This is a similar system to Genki Sushi in Shibuya, which is really popular with foreigners. Now I used to think Genki Sushi was the only place you could order on a touchscreen. I think that's why everyone goes there. But there's actually lots of places like this, including a chain called Sushi Row. There's a video about it on my channel. And I found a really good one in Yodabashi Camera, which is right by the station in Akihabara. There's lots of them, so you don't have to go to the same place everyone goes. I've got the corn mayo gunkan, which is, seems to me like an unusual sushi because we don't really have it in the UK, but they have it at most of the conveyor belt sushi restaurants I've been to. Corn, uh, corn's quite big here, isn't it? Like yeah. Korea, it? Yeah, they have um, sweet corn soup in vending machines. <laughs> I want to try that, actually. And I've got a cucumber roll. It's got pickled plum in as well. Pickled plum has quite a strong, sour flavour. It's kind of an acquired taste. It's not for beginners. Have you gone for here? Uh, this is some yellowtail and some tuna. I think it's fairly standard tuna. Um, you can get fatty tuna and you can get all different types, but the price increases. Uh, right now, I'm not starving, so I just want some, just some tuna. It's good. Mm. And they've got wasabi, wasabi and sachets for you. What's this one? This is bluefin tuna. And what's the difference between that and normal tuna? I actually don't know. <laughs> There's quite a few families and kids in here. I guess it must be a really fun place for kids to come see their sushi zooming along. One of the issues with this type of sort of on-demand sushi is that the rice often comes out quite warm. Now that's not necessarily bad, um, but I don't think that's how it's supposed to be served. It's supposed to be room temperature. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. It can be a bit off. Um, it doesn't make it taste any less good, but if you know there's less time over the preparation, it's more about getting it out. Mm. Which is why it's fancy. It's not a fancy sushi place. Oh no, but it is good quality ingredients. The rice does taste really good. Uh, and the mix of fish I've had so far is really good thick cuts. That taste really nice. They've got a cute little mascot. <laughs> like most uh, conveyor belt sushi places, there's free green tea on the table. They give you this pot of matcha powder and there's hot water on tap on the table. There's the rules of the conveyor belt sushi. You have to watch out for your cuffs. You're not allowed to get on the conveyor belt. No lane crossing. Here they've got some points so they can divert the conveyor belt if they don't want to use the whole thing. Before I carry on, if you want to try making your own sushi at home, I've written a recipe comic book. It's got cute characters that show you how to make rolls, nigiri, futamaki, edamame and gyoza for a whole sushi feast. 
There's nothing like fresh sushi, it tastes so good and it's a really nice way to spend the evening together. If you want to give it a go, you can get my comic book from cakeswithfaces.co.uk. It comes with a rolling mat and chopsticks. Now back to the video. Gotta have edamame. <laughs> Something's missing if I don't have them. Here's my kapamaki. Can't go wrong with kapamaki. So this is three types of tuna. It ranges in quality really, so there's sort of the, the fatty tuna which is more expensive, going down to the cheaper one. Mm. And that is some more yellow tail because it's quite cheap and I really like it. They're quite big bits of fish aren't they? Mm, they are. Like, like I was saying before, they don't care so much about the presentation. You can see this one is split, but it is also extremely thick and when you compare that to anything you get in the UK, it's quite incredible. So let's take a look through the menu. At the top we've got event and a lot of the salmon seems to be in there at the moment. Sometimes these things are all organised a bit strangely, <laughs> but all the salmon's in there. We've got the standard nigiri. Nigiri arrangement, not sure what that is. I think that tends to be more nigiri that's got um, either cheese on top of it or something else. So oh, rather than just simple topping. Yeah, so it tends to be uh, something that's been grilled or cooked or, you know, perhaps it's not a bit of fish on rice. Limited event, a couple more special ones in there. Battleship, that's the gun can rolls and makimono which are single filling rolls. That's where I found my kapamaki. Original sushi, which I guess is their original inventions. Oh, only one screen of that. Noodles and soup, miso soup. Side dishes, there's a couple of things, oysters, fried potatoes, clams. That's where you'll find things like chicken uh, edamame. Very important edamame. Takoyaki. We've got soft drinks, alcoholic drinks, these are lunch specials which aren't on at the moment and there's a few desserts as well. We've got a taiyaki, a matcha ice cream, some other ice creams there as well. The prices are on the table here so they're between 128 yen a plate and 650 yen per plate. That's excluding tax. Oh yeah, so tax will be a little bit more. And most of the ones we've had have been yellow, green and red, which are the three cheapest ones. I have had the one that been slightly more. Uh, that was the three types of tuna. And that was 488 yen. Now we found where the salmon is on the menu. Phil's got some Aurora salmon. But it's very different to a lot of the salmon I've been eating recently, which is salmon we've got on sushi back in the UK. It's got more going on. There's a lot more complexity in that. I don't know if that's some of the fatty streaks or if it's just better quality. It's like there's three or four different types of fish going on there. It's really nice. Mm. It's interesting. They do also have this gourmet fatty salmon, but I'm a little bit full and fatty salmon doesn't sound that appealing at the minute. It's normally really nice, but it's a bit much in the When you're done, you press the checkout button on the screen they bring you your bill and then you go up to the till to pay. I'm always way in front of you. That's all right. <laughs> so the bill was 2,686 yen, which is a bit less than 20 pounds, I think. Uh, yeah, I haven't really done yeah. the conversion yet. <laughs> so obviously when you come to a convey belt sushi place, usually it's pretty cheap sushi, so it's not the highest quality. But we've always noticed all the ones we've been to, the quality is better than a lot of sushi you get at the, in the UK, like at Yo Sushi and things. So even if it's not as good as you can get in Japan, it's still better than most of the sushi we're used to having. There's a good place for things like cheap sushi, because we just wanted a quick lunch where we went in there, got some food, came out. And if you've got dietary requirements like yours, like being vegetarian, um, just being able to order off a menu is really, really convenient. Uh, without having to sort of bother the chef and trying to communicate. So it's got a really... Yeah, it's easy for yeah. us to go to as foreigners. So it's not the best sushi, not by quite a long way, but it is still very, mm -hmm. very good. It's good, it's cheap and it's fun. There are lots of kids in there with their families. <laughs> Obviously, it's a fun place for kids to go as well. Yeah. If you want to come to Japan, you should probably try uh, a proper sushi place where you sit down and have it. But definitely come to one of these as well, because you'll get so much for your money. And it's just nice quality food mm. and, you know, even though it's cheap sushi, the, the cuts of fish might not be the best. But they're still thick, they've still got a lot of flavour, you've got a really good choice. And all those things you don't have in the UK. So tell me what you think in the comments and I'll be back next week. I'll see you on Thursday.